हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू सोल ऑफ सर क्लासेस दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट बी सी ए टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सॉल्व पेपर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी ऑल आवर लेक्चर्स ऑन दिस कोर्स एंड टू गेट कंप्लीट प्रिंटेड स्टडी मेटेरियल्स देन प्लीज कॉन्टैक्ट आर्स एंड द लिंक्स आर गिवेन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो डू सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर वीडियोज लेक्चर्स ओके नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट हेयर द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इफ पी A intersection B that equal to one by three and P A union B that equal to five by six and P A equal to half. Then which one of the following is correct? Option A A and B are independent events. A and B are mutually exclusive event. P A equal to P B or P A greater than P B. Solution P A union B that equal to P A plus P B minus P A intersection B. So P A union B that means five by six that equal to half plus P B minus one by three. So P B equal to two by three. Also P A dot P B that equal to half dot two by three that equal to one by three. So P A intersection B that equal to P A P B. Hence A and B are independent events. So option A will be the right answer. Next problem. The domain of the function cos inverse x by x is minus one zero union one and minus one one minus one one and none of this. Solution here if x equal to that. Now for f x to be defined minus one less than equal to x. Less than equal to one and that not equal to zero. So that implies that x not belongs to not belongs to zero one. It's closed and is open interval. Now domain of f x domain of f x is minus one zero union. One, so option A will be the right answer. Next problem: If sine inverse three by x plus sine inverse four by x equal to pi by two, then x is equal to three, five, seven, and interval. Now, sine inverse three by x. That equal to pi by two minus sine inverse four by x. That imply that sine inverse three by x equal to cos inverse four by x. That implies that sine inverse three by x equal to sine inverse root over x square minus sixteen by x square. So that equal to three by x equal to root over x square minus sixteen by x. So here x equal to plus minus five or x not equal to zero. Since x equal to five because minus five not satisfy the given equation. So option B will be the right answer. Next problem: The eccentricity of the ellipse 25x square plus 16y square minus 150x minus 175 equal to zero is 2 by 5, 2 by 3, 4 by 5, and 3 by 5. The given equation can be written as x minus 3 
होल स्क्वायर बाय 16 प्लस वाई स्क्वायर बाय 25 दैट इक्वल टू 1 therefore the major axis of the parallel of y axis that equal to small e that equal to 1 minus 16 by 25 that equal to 3 by 5 so option d will be the right answer now next problem if a plus b plus c equal to 0 mod a 3 mod b 5 and mod c equal to 7 then angle between a and b is pi by 6 pi by 3 pi by 2 and pi given a plus b equal to minus c so mod a square plus mod b square plus 2 into mod a mod b cos theta that equal to mod c square that implies 9 plus 25 plus 2.3 dot 5 to multiply 3 multiply 5 cos theta that equal to 49 that implies we can write cos theta equal to half so theta equal to pi by 3 so option b will be the right answer next problem For all integers n greater than equal to 1, which of the following is divisible by 9? Here the four option 8 to the power n plus 1, 4 to the power n minus 3, n minus 1 and 3 to the power 2n plus 3n plus 1 and 10 to the power n plus 1. Solution Here 4 to the power n equal to 1 plus 3 whole to the power n that equal to 1 plus 3 n plus n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial 3 square plus dot 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 that implies 4 to the power n minus 3 n minus 1 that equal to 3 square n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial plus dot 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 it is clear from the above that 4 to the power n minus 3 n minus 1 is divisible by 9. So option B will be the right answer. So students that's all for now. We will discuss more in our next lecture and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos.